Hey everyone, welcome to this brand new playlist on our channel on an automation tool which is known as Cypress. Now, if you have not heard about Cypress, then it is a next generation front end testing tool which is built for the modern web applications. It addresses some of the key pain points uh, which are faced by developers and QA engineers while they test this modern web applications. Now what you can do with Cypress, uh, you can create tests, you can uh, debug them visually, you can run them and also you can integrate it with your CI builds. Now one of the fundamental difference between Cypress and any other test automation tool is uh, it can test anything which runs in a browser. Also, it follows uh, the test driven uh, development approach where you can start writing your tests while you are building your application. One of the key advantages of Cypress is um, it is not dependent on a particular uh, environment or operating system. It can run anywhere on Windows, Linux or Mac OS. Also, it is a free and open source test automation tool. So you can go ahead um, and start using Cypress um, as soon as you learn it. Finally, uh, it is built on Node.js and it uses uh, JavaScript and some of the JavaScript frameworks uh, to basically build these test suits which are used to test these modern web applications. Now coming to what uh, you can test with Cypress. So for that, uh, we need to go back to the testing pyramid. Now, as you know, there are different testing levels or testing types which are mentioned in this testing pyramid. And these are basically the unit, integration, component, and end-to-end -end tests. Now, Cypress offers all of these different types of testing. So you can perform all these types of testing uh, in this particular test automation tool. So right from writing the unit tests where you test any small piece of code right without any integration and then you integrate different unit tests together uh, to do your integration testing and then you can also test the components uh, at the fundamental level uh, component could be something as simple as a button or a label or an input box and, and then you start gathering these small components to make more larger ones, which could be like a login form or a shopping cart order summary. And then we can obviously test the end-to-end -end application, which will be starting from right from the login form till uh, you put a order in an e-commerce application, right? So you will start writing a single test that registers a new account, you log in into account, then purchase a product and then log out. So this is the end-to-end -end flow, uh, which you can test. With Cypress. Now coming to uh, the architecture of uh, Cypress, um, unlike most other testing tools like Selenium or any other test automation tool which operates by running outside of the browser and then they execute remote commands across the network but Cypress is the exact opposite because it runs within the browser and uh, it is executed in the same run loop as your application. Right. So whatever your application can do inside the browser, Cypress can test that. So behind Cypress is a Node.js uh, server process. So this Cypress and Node process, they constantly communicate, synchronize, and then perform tasks on behalf of each other. So having access to uh, both the front end and back end, it gives us the ability to uh, respond to our application events in real time while uh, at the same time uh, we can work outside of the browser for tasks that require a higher privilege. Now Cypress also operates at the network layer by reading or altering the web traffic on the fly. Uh, it, it not only enables Cypress to modify everything which is coming in and out of the browser but it can also change the code uh, that might interfere with its ability to automate the browser. So this is a very high level overview of the Cypress architecture. Uh, then coming to the key features which are present in Cypress. So one of the key features is the flake resistant feature. Uh, so using this feature, uh, Cypress can automatically wait for elements to become visible or to become enabled. And this way, 
uh, you don't need to uh, wait for elements to exist or um, you don't need to deal with stale elements or elements which have been detached from the DOM. So these are the common uh, problems which you face with other test automation tools, but with Cypress, you will not face this issue. Also, Cypress provides you with faster feedback loops because as soon as you save your test script, Cypress starts rerunning your tests automatically. Now this provides an instant feedback loop that allows you to iterate uh, faster and with confidence. The next feature which Cypress provides is time travel through tests. And what it basically means is you can exactly see how your app is behaving at any point during the test execution. Now what Cypress does, it takes the uh, DOM snapshots of your application under test uh, as the commands and assertions in your tests are being executed. So this enables you to uh, view the real UI of your application at any point uh, when your test is getting executed. By clicking from one command to another in the command log, you can actually see uh, what Cypress is doing and how your application is responding. Then um, there is test retries. Uh, as we talked about, Cypress automatically uh, reruns your failed tests so that you don't need to go and rerun your failed test manually. Uh, Cypress allows you to retry your failed test automatically. Uh, you can enable that in the configuration um, and then that will help you uh, to overcome any flaky tests which are occasionally failing. Then there is the uh, debug feature. Here there are hundreds of custom error messages uh, which Cypress provides you uh, describing the exact reason why uh, it failed your test. There is also a, a rich UI uh, which visually shows you uh, the command execution, assertions, network requests, or any URL changes. You can also use uh, the developer tools while you are running your tests and then you can see every console message or every network request. You can also inspect your elements and then you can also use uh, debugger statements in your spec code or your application code. Also, as we discussed, uh, Cypress allows you to uh, take uh, screenshots automatically on failures or videos if they are enabled of your entire test suit uh, whenever you are running it from uh, the CLI. So these are some of the key features which are available with Cypress. There are lots more features which we'll discuss during this series of uh, videos on Cypress. Now coming to one of the most common questions uh, which comes across whenever you are starting with Cypress is what is the difference between Cypress and Selenium? Now, as we know, Selenium is the most popular uh, test automation tool present for web applications. Cypress is slowly becoming popular in its own area because it is built for more modern web applications compared to Selenium, which is a more old style web applications. But let's see what's the difference between these two automation tools so that uh, one can decide based on the use case uh, which automation tool to use for. Now the fundamental difference between Cypress and Selenium is Cypress runs inside the browser while Selenium runs outside the browser as we have discussed uh, in the architecture. So uh, this makes Cypress a little more faster compared to Selenium. Also, uh, when you come to the support for different languages, Cypress only supports JavaScript while Selenium supports multiple languages, as we know, like .NET, Java, Python. Now in end-to-end -end testing, you can also test APIs in Cypress, but in Selenium, there is no API testing support. You can do that, but you need to use uh, additional libraries to do that. Also, Cypress supports uh, the Mocha GS test framework, while Selenium, you can use multiple test frameworks like TestNG, JUnit, or Cucumber. Now, one of the key uh, drawbacks of Cypress is it doesn't support multiple browsers or multiple tabs. And uh, it is fundamentally uh, the way Cypress works, and that is why it is not able to support this. But Selenium does support uh, multiple browsers and multiple tabs. So these are some of the key differences uh, between Cypress and Selenium. Now, as you can see, uh, Cypress and Selenium can be used for two different use cases. 
Uh, so if you're working with more modern web applications which are built on JavaScript or related technologies, then you will go with Cypress. While for other web applications built on other technologies, you can always use Selenium. Now coming to uh, Cypress in its own marketplace where uh, you can compare it with like-to-like -like automation tools. Cypress is far behind uh, other automation tools like Nightwatch, Playwright, or WebDriver IO. So there are more than 5 million downloads for Cypress uh, in the NPM trends compared to all the other automation tools which are very far behind. So if you're trying to learn a new test automation tool which is based on JavaScript, uh, and which can test modern web applications, then Cypress is a very good test automation tool to learn. Also, there is a high demand for this particular tool and many companies are looking out for uh, testers who are experienced in Cypress. So I would definitely recommend if you want to learn a new test automation tool, which is trending uh, in the market currently. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.